Welcome back to the show and now let us continue with the fun. They say it is important for artists to nurture and protect that which makes their vision unique. If this saying is anything to go by, then Otivo Okuku has honed the ability to tell stories that touch on the African culture and day-to-day -day life distinctively on the canvas. Let us now sample some of his artworks as we listen in to his story. Enjoy. Otivo Okuku grew up conscious of the talent he had in art which he nurtured throughout his schooling. In an incessant cycle of learning and reinventing his craft, Otivo slowly scaled new heights of success. Yangu ilikuwa talent plus at least experience na kusoma kidogo. Yeah, so I started as nikiwa primo nini kuchora hizo machat za mode na after that uh, kumada high school nika pursue maybe certificate, nifanya certificate in art. Then after that, I went to the Golden Art Center under the mentorship of Patrick Mukabi, Big Up. Uh, so I for some time, then I go solo. Yeah. Uh, I've also worked with groups like BSQ, Kinabebeto, Dufu, uh, Kena, yeah, Big Up, Kilam. I pole pole to art in Angateke, so I mdogo mdogo. Kuna zile basics, so ukiwa chuo utafundishwa tu the, the basics so it's upon you ukitoka chuo unaanza ku develop your own technique and you find your best medium to work with so for me i started with charcoal kiangalia pieces zangu za zamani zilikuwa charcoal then i do also pencil works for portraits and also pen uh, ink on paper also for, for portraits there's a series i'm working on in itwa uh, revolutionary uh, sheets. They are for revolutionary people uh, and it's uh, ink on paper. So I also do spray paint, that's graffiti. Uh, and also, mostly I work, I work on canvas, but I also do murals. Yeah. Every art medium comes with its own unique blueprint and creation procedures to guarantee the best results. Killer Moji Kona tricks like uh, for me, so easy to me oil paint because I prefer uh, acrylics rather than oil. Oil is much kukauka uh, nini na take time. It's, uh, so for me, I find it easier working with acrylics. So each and every medium has advantages, zake na disadvantages. Uh, like pencil, pencil, it's black and white. Always it change you, no na. Yeah, pen, it's ink. So there are some things you cannot change about the medium. So it's upon an artist to find maybe the correct medium for him or her and work with it. Yeah. For me, the creative process in a depend on the theme. And sometimes na coming it randomly. But mostly in the theme. Like this series, in the theme, you start with the idea in the mind. So you come up with the idea and you develop the idea. To a concept. So after developing the idea into a concept, you do the sketches. Uneza refer, uneza do imaginative. Yeah, but uh, for me, I, I, I do combine my sketches with I refer, I do imaginative, I, I combine I, all sorts of methods. Yeah? So after that, doing the sketches, uh, blank uh, after canvas, naenda na nua canvas. Na stretch and then na, na I prime. After priming, now I do the sketches uh, on top of the canvas, primed can canvas. Uh, after that, now I start drawing and painting. Yeah. The art is anchored in stories which he tells in the form of series that mainly focus on African culture and predominantly women's subjects. Mostly when I do my pieces, they have uh, a story behind it. So for this one, it's a series, it's called Mamamboga series. So as you can see, most of them are coming or going or selling uh, those uh, groceries. So uh, it's a series that I can say appreciates women who work hard to earn a living and also support their kids. Uh, and also it's a honest living. Yeah. Ni a living that it's dignified, Nona. So for me, I find it very inspiring. And mostly if you, if you look at the ladies, not all of them are old, most of them 
uh, young and maybe mtu ananiuliza ah, mbona huyu ako na haga ama anakaa hivi hivi cause kwani akiwa na haga hizi za mboga unaona so it's 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 a challenge and it's a to young women when you maybe I'm a drop out from school it's a uh, wanaweza pata job from kuza groceries kwenda soko kuchukua mboga na kuuza kama at the end of the day ni it's it's a kind of uh, business and you can earn from it na unaweza inaweza kukusukuma unaona unaweza further your education through it so it's just a, an appreciation eh, for the women who do this business it's good to show your culture unaona uh, kuna time itafika cause if you look at most of them it's a culture ni kitu enye na happen si ati ya happen so it's good to appreciate what's happening and it's good to to write it down unaona cause ep is it has take like 100 years unaona if if kept correctly unaona so in the next generation you don't know how technology will advance so uta find that what when yatakuwa in the next generation maybe 100 years from now watashindwa ah kwa hivyo watu wa zamani walikuwa wanafanya hivi unaona so it's it's part of uh, keeping history unaona and telling our story and our culture to the next generation and to those people who who are not in 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 this kind of environment because most of the, of the people when yanakuja kwa hii exhibition wanashindwa ah mbona amebeba uh, gunia kwa mgongo unaona so it's a it's it's kind of uh, a message because for us uh, africans for us like uh, bantus kusha it's unaona it's a it's a kind of tumekuwa tukifanya hivyo si ati imeanza saa hii kubeba gunia kwa mgongo unaona tumekuwa tukifanya hivyo tukienda shamba tukienda tukitoka uh, maybe wametoka kuchota maji unaona ametoka kuleta kuni so it's 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 ni progress ya culture venye na progress eh? na and it's a story to tell to the next generation if you thought art was the only thing written on Otivo's resume you are mistaken the artist doubles up as both a tailor who specializes in crafting handbags and also an art teacher i'm a tailor a fashion designer by profession mimi uh, ufanya mabags so but uh, niko na series of bags artistic bags so mapata my bags are not uh, uh, that much uh, like uh, any other bags na do tool bags na do tool bags for artists when you wanna sculpture na do bags za artists when you wanna grow mural works nini so you'll find those bags modified yeah so if you need any bag gama anything to do with bugs ah uni uni chapia tu i've worked with uh, artists like uh, dufu big up uh, to me try kufanya something like me na make the bug na create the bug and then yana angukia ana chapa piece kwa bug and then we we sell so i do collaborate also i do teach art uh uh kwa kwa willing and also i do teach art in in schools uh, there's a school called uh, Made in the Street. I do teach art there. So, um, anyone willing to learn, you can learn art. Kuna wenye wanasema nga, ah, art ni talent tu wapana. Kuna wenye wame learn art, hawa kuwa na talent. So, it's about passion. Kiyo na passion, uneza learn art. Nukwe mdedili hata kushinda mwenye, hako na talent. The artist is grateful for the strides art continues to make and implores the masses to go a step further in appreciating and consuming art. For a while in the art industry, I've been at the Godown under Patrick Mukabi, I've been Railways Museum uh, under BSQ and Mekwa Solo. So I think uh, so far so good, what one appreciate art, mostly local Kenyans and maybe Africans. Uh, ilikuwa zamani watu walikuwa wanasema ah hizo ni vitu za wangoso ama nini eh but right now you find that most of the people are appreciate art yeah and artists wana are living from from the, the, their creativity no na so for me i find it uh, at least for now up to now 
watu wengi watu wengi wanajua art ni nini si kama zamani si kama zamani and i also urge those who don't know what art is uh, it's good to at least do research and know uh, how much an art can cost and those basic basic things yeah because you find uh, mtu anashanga mbona hii art na they don't know it's a process it's a process and uh, it's a way of living for someone so wasishtuke sana na pia kama una uwezo ununue art kuna mabigi wabigi wengi sana wa gava hata juu art ni nini so i challenge them also so at least wa kuwe na art moja kwa kwa nyumba si print artwork original artwork from artist guys you can find me ig instagram at otivo kuku facebook at uh, uh, okuku otivo na namba unaweza chukua pia 0724927002 i do teach art so unaweza nipatia if you need art lessons you can just uh, hit me up yeah day-to-day -day stories through the eyes of Otivo Okuku.